And you can see that live view and a beautiful view at that of Dragon Endurance as it approaches the International Space Station. Now these views are being captured by cameras on the International Space Station, which is Dragon's target for today. And the International Space Station and Dragon are currently flying about 260 statute miles over the Indian Ocean. And so after CHOP and as we make that initial capture uh, in the grand arrival when Crew 10 arrives at the space station, Dragon will fly in and make contact with those international docking adapters, giving us what we call soft capture. And the soft capture ring then retracts until sensors indicate it's time for 12 hooks, two sets of six, to drive in place to give us a hard capture and firmly secure Dragon to its new home on the space station. Then you can see Anne there um, on the, on the right-hand box Anne is on the left-hand side working on that tablet right now. Now a view of the International Space Station. So this is cool. You've got the ISS looking down at Dragon on your left, and you've got Dragon looking up at the ISS on your right. I mean... The views don't get much better than that, except for maybe the four people who are in Dragon. And so the International Space Station and Dragon are currently flying just off the coast of Australia again as they make that, or as Dragon makes its final approach to the International Space Station. Um, so Dragon is currently about 560 meters away from the International Space Station and continuing to close in. Again, we recently did have that go to go past that waypoint zero. So next up will be that waypoint one um, that we expect in just a few minutes. Um, Dragon is now just about 330 meters away from the International Space Station. It's now inside uh, waypoint zero, approaching waypoint one, which is that 220 meter mark. Um, and then from there, it'll continue on and enter inside what is known as the keep out sphere, which is that 200 meter boundary around the International Space Station before we have that docking. So it's been a long journey for Crew 10 um, since launch yesterday and even before that, because they had all of those preparations leading up to launch. Um, um, getting suit up, those final medical checks, all of the various processes that they went through prior to that liftoff at 7.03 p.m. Eastern, 4.03 p.m. Pacific. Um, so I'm sure they will be glad to be welcomed on board the International Space Station in really just a few minutes, few minutes from now. As we wait for crew confirmation, we are getting video from the International Space Station's external cameras. And station. Houston Station on the big loop, I can confirm I have good centerline camera. Station looks beautiful. We're inside six minutes from the planned arrival of Waypoint One, continuing to get these fantastic views provided from the International Space Station, as well as from inside Dragon itself. Commander Anne McLean, as well as pilot Nicole Ayers, you see positioned as the camera in between them shows them in their launch and entry suits. We did hear before that they are allowed to bring up their visors through these set of procedures. Those suits are donned prior to joint operations. And they'll close their visors as part of the next dynamic phase, which will be the docking. Now brightened by the sun, will start to dim, and you'll start to see the docking lights as well as the navigation lights. Docking light will be white at the center of the spacecraft, and you'll see green and red lights on the forward bulkhead, green indicating the starboard position, red indicating the port position. The International Space Station cameras sometimes view from an upside down position as you can see from this view as the earth is on the top left of your screen at waypoint two dragon will hold for approximately five minutes and you heard that's that call there indicating that the iss and, and the crew there are now ready for dragon's docking to the forward docking adapter of the harmony module of the international space station dragon approaching waypoint two which is the point about 20 meters from the international space station's forward docking adapter and as we did just here there we are expecting dragon to hold for about five minutes once it reaches that point um, it crossed through waypoint one and waypoint zero without having to hold but again these these waypoints or checkpoints are places we can hold if we need to and if we don't we can proceed forward through them. And so we have gone through two of those waypoints, so waypoint zero and one. And so now Dragon is less than 200 meters away from the International Space Station, about 170 meters currently um, away from its target of that forward 
no to forward docking port. And there you're seeing a great view on your screen of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft as it makes its final approach to the International Space Station. Um, the teams in Mission Control Houston um, are and uh, the teams of the International Space, or not the International Space Station, the SpaceX mission control teams behind us um, are, of course, doing some final go, no go polls for docking. Um, it's one of the final checkpoints between those teams to make sure everyone is good to proceed and to dock. We did hear that there will likely be a brief hold at Waypoint 2. And again, that Waypoint 2 is tw just 20 meters away from the International Space Station, so very close at that point. So they will hold briefly. And then from there, um, we will have our final approach and docking. We will have an initial soft capture. Uh, we did hear that the soft capture ring was being extended a few minutes ago. Basic Dragon, Crew 10 is ready for final approach. And that is great words there to hear from SpaceX Mission Control. Resume has been commanded. Reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. Uh, and Anna, here we go. So we did just hear that they have the go to resume final approach so that we had that brief hold completed at waypoint two, which was just 20 meters away from the International Space Station. So Dragon will now resume its final approach and finish its fly into the International Space Station's node two forward docking port. And we heard uh, Dragon is in approach two. Your good confirmation of Dragon in that approach to mode, meaning it has passed waypoint two and is coming into the station. Again, you can see... Station Houston on the big loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor per steps five and six in 1.102 Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Station copy. And that was the call from the International Space Station Flight Control Room to the crew on the ISS. Again, just everyone confirming, making sure everyone's on the same page as Dragon is now very close to docking with the International Space Station here today. You've got the ISS staring at Dragon on the left-hand side of your screen, and you've got Dragon looking at its docking port on the ISS on the right. And Dragon is now less than seven meters away from the International Space Station as it continues to make that final approach Less than three meters away. Two meters, please hands off. Copy, hands off. There is the chop call. Standing by for initial contact of Dragon to the International Space Station. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. And there you heard Dragon has successfully docked to the International Space Station. We have contact and soft capture confirmed. Soft capture meaning that the initial soft capture ring around Dragon has uh, physically connected with the International Docking Adapter. And this is just the first part of the overall docking sequence, Anna. And so we did have that contact confirmed at 9.04 p.m. Pacific. 11.04 p.m. Central, while both Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 260 statute Some miles. Capture ring retraction in progress. Flying 260 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. And we did just hear confirmation that that soft uh, capture ring is now beginning to retract. So they're beginning those steps uh, to firmly attach Dragon to the International Space Station so that we can have what is known as a hard capture. Standing by for words from Expedition 72. You see the bell in position that will be rung. Audio will be streamed down of the bell welcoming the crew. Expedition, more Expedition 72 members Dragon, come through. Houston, you are go in step six decimal three. The first crew 10. Onishi, the first Crew-10 astronaut, through the hatch. 
followed by Peskov. Nicole Ayer is the first of the flies, newest class of astronauts to enter. And last, commander of Crew 10, Anne McLean. Crew 10 has had a great journey up here, about 28 hours to uh, get back up to the space station. And I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. Uh, returning for a couple of people, very first time for a couple of people. Um, and let me tell you, that is such an amazing journey. Uh, you can hardly even put it into words. Uh, the ride up on the Falcon 9, uh, orbiting the Earth for the last couple of days, it's been an absolutely incredible and it is something that none of us could do by ourselves. Uh, as we've said before, you cannot be great without the greatness of others. And I tell you, the greatness of the ground control teams have really shined through in the last few days getting us up here safely. Thank you very, very much. Hey, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thanks to our families, friends, and our colleagues from all the partners, SpaceX, NASA, CSA, ESA, Roscosmos, and JAXA for preparing us and uh, making it possible for us to get here. And we are so, so excited to now be officially part of the Expedition 72. Thank you, thank you guys. And uh, I want to say a couple of words in Japanese from here. あ、日本の皆さん応援ありがとうございました。え、元気にここまでISS まで帰ってくることができました。え、明日からまた、え、一生懸命、え、希望での再演スタートを含めていろんなタスクを頑張っていきたいと思います。Uh, thanks a lot one more time to SpaceX and NASA for this uh, wonderful ride. Uh, that was really fun. Uh, and thanks, thanks to all the world's uh, aerospace industry, uh, which works to make the dreams to come true and uh, to take us further and further. That's really wonderful. Thanks to everyone working there. И спасибо, конечно же, отдельно это Роскосмосу и Центру подготовки космонавтов за знания и опыт, которые привели меня сюда. Будем работать. Работать славно, работать дружно. Во имя, во благо всего человечества. Передаю микрофон. Потерялся. I'd like to just say again, uh, thank you to SpaceX for the awesome ride up here. Uh, as a rookie, that was one of the coolest things I've ever done, and I can't wait to get, get to work up here. So, uh, so excited for uh, the four pilots and us that just got to get to space together and uh, now we're four astronauts together. So um, thank you to all of our friends and families and thank you to all, all of the instructors and all of the ground teams who got us here. Can't wait to get started. And Houston, thank you for uh, tuning in this early morning. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much.